How to turn on a woman and make her wet instantly. I often hear people casually toss around the phrase, it's not rocket science. It's typically used to describe things that seem challenging but are actually quite manageable, and one of those things is supposedly turning a woman on. Now, I understand many men, and women, particularly considering historical contexts where stories of female dissatisfaction abound, might disagree. However, what if I told you that it's not as difficult as it may seem, pun unintended. Here are a few ways that can help you get your woman not just in the mood but as wet as a poolside. 1. Wordplay. First and foremost, before you engage physically, harness one of your most underused assets, your words. Few things excite a woman like hearing sweet and sexy, nothing's whispered in her ear. Begin by expressing how she makes you feel, particularly in a sexual sense. Then, paint a vivid picture for her, describing everything you plan to do, and watch as she gasps and her breath quickens, igniting her desire. 2. Fastest Fingers Last There's a common misconception that using fast, rough movements with your fingers on a woman's vagina will satisfy her. Let me clarify, it doesn't. Just as every woman is unique, so is every vagina, each requiring exploration and attention in its own way. Take your time to explore her fully and then gently stimulate her clitoris for maximum effect. Let your touch be deliberate and gradual rather than rushed, and experience the enchantment unfold. 3. Go in for the kill. Research indicates that many women do not orgasm solely through penetrative sex. Therefore, assuming that penetration alone will suffice is far from accurate when preparing for intimate moments. When I suggest going in for the kill, I mean using one or two fingers to gently enter her while making tender thrusting motions. If she is aroused and lubricated, these gentle movements combined with kissing her neck and whispering in her ear are likely to heighten her arousal. 4. Paint the town red. And by that, we mean don't confine yourself to stimulating her solely between her legs. Explore with your hands, your fingers, your tongue, tracing them along the nape of her neck, her shoulders, her breasts, and certainly around her navel. 5. Watch her please herself. Observing your partner pleasuring themselves is not only arousing for men but also a reliable method for allowing your woman to take charge and set the stage. Afterwards, take initiative and build upon it by engaging in the aforementioned activities to not only arouse her but also maintain her arousal. Why is it difficult for smarter women to find love? Have you ever observed and pondered why often highly successful, hardworking, and intelligent women struggle to find love? There could be various reasons for this, such as their values, beliefs, and high standards, or other factors like limited compatibility and time constraints that serve as barriers to their pursuit of true love. 1. High Standards Intelligent women often set high standards for themselves and their partners. They seek ambitious, motivated, and intellectually curious partners who can match their level. Being aware of their own worth and what they bring to a relationship, they expect their partners to meet and consistently maintain these standards. These women are attuned to relationship red flags and prioritize respect, sincerity, and clear communication in their partnerships. If these expectations are not met, they are willing to end the relationship without hesitation. Finding someone who fulfills all these criteria can be challenging because not everyone shares their values and interests. These women choose to remain happily single and fulfilled in their lives rather than settling for less than they deserve, waiting until they find someone who meets their ideal match. 2. Intimidation Factor Smart, intelligent, and independent women generally do not depend on others for much. They exude confidence, uphold strong values, and possess high self-esteem. Due to these attributes, some individuals may find them intimidating. If someone doesn't feel as accomplished or intelligent, they might hesitate to pursue a relationship with such a woman. This sense of intimidation can create obstacles in forming deep connections and fostering a strong bond with her. It's akin to feeling uneasy or hesitant around someone who appears highly impressive. 3. Limited Compatibility 
Intelligent women often seek partners who not only align with their intellectual prowess but also share comparable values and life aspirations. They desire someone capable of engaging in profound and meaningful discussions, empathizing with their perspectives, and championing their personal and professional ambitions. Yet, discovering such a compatible partner proves challenging as it demands encountering someone who not only meets these prerequisites but also nurtures a profound connection. Hence, smart women may encounter difficulties in finding a partner who genuinely aligns with their intellectual curiosity and life goals. 4. Time Constraints Intelligent women frequently navigate busy lives occupied by demanding careers, hobbies, and personal aspirations, driven by their dedication to achieving goals and continual growth. Managing these commitments makes carving out time for dating challenging. Even when they arrange occasional dates, sustaining meaningful and profound connections proves difficult amidst their hectic schedules. Their partners may crave more of their time and focus, which they struggle to consistently offer. This disparity in availability can contribute to challenges, frustrations, and conflicts that may strain or conclude the relationship. 5. Emotional guardedness. Another major obstacle that smart and independent women encounter in finding love is their fear of vulnerability. These women often prioritize independence and self-reliance, which can create hurdles in their ability to emotionally open up in relationships. They may have erected strong defenses to shield their emotions and ambitions, making it challenging for potential partners to establish deep emotional connections with them. This fear of vulnerability can hinder the development of intimate and enduring relationships, as trust and emotional intimacy are crucial for nurturing strong bonds. The Psychology of Attraction, Why Do We Fall in Love? Have you ever pondered why you feel drawn to certain individuals? And years later, you might reflect on what initially sparked your interest in them. Or perhaps you've experienced that heart-pounding attraction to a stranger passing by, leaving you breathless. Love, as it turns out, encompasses far more than mere looks or personality. It is a deeply intricate concept that intertwines psychological, biological, and emotional elements, shaping our romantic connections. Dispelling the myth of a soulmate, love fundamentally engages the mind, not just the heart. By exploring the psychology of love and attraction, we uncover the mysteries behind why we form connections with specific individuals. 1. Projection and Idealization When you begin to feel even the slightest romantic interest in someone, your mind often constructs desirable qualities and an idealized image of them. This phenomenon is particularly evident during the initial stages, often termed the talking stage or early attraction phase. As you engage with them, whether physically, emotionally, or through communication, this idealization intensifies. You start interpreting their personality and traits through a filter that reflects your hopes and aspirations associated with them. In this state, feelings of love can become profoundly intense and deep. You may perceive them as flawless, disregarding any potential warning signs that others might clearly notice. This scenario illustrates why friends often caution against falling in love blindly and encourage seeing the person for who they truly are. 2. Neurochemical Influences Love sets off intricate processes in the brain involving hormones such as dopamine, oxytocin, and serotonin. These chemicals play crucial roles, dopamine creates feelings of pleasure, oxytocin fosters bonding and trust, and serotonin helps regulate mood and social behavior. When we experience romantic emotions, these hormones flood our brain, deepening our emotional connection to the person we love. Interestingly, these neurochemical processes can also occur upon encountering a random stranger or engaging briefly with someone. It's not solely about appearances or personality, sometimes, a connection may arise from something as straightforward as shared interests or a sense of style. In such instances, the brain releases hormones like dopamine and oxytocin, fostering feelings of attraction and bonding. This underscores that love and attraction can transcend familiar contexts and conventional relationships, forming connections rooted in subtle yet meaningful interactions. 3. Shared Vulnerabilities 
Vulnerability plays a pivotal role in fostering romantic connections between individuals. When two people have faced similar challenges, whether in childhood, adulthood, or currently, it can gradually lead to the development of romantic feelings. This connection forms because there is an immediate emotional bond rooted in mutual understanding and empathy. Sharing vulnerabilities with someone who has undergone similar experiences allows for a profound comprehension of each other's emotions and struggles that may not be possible with others. This mutual understanding cultivates trust and empathy, essential elements of romantic love. As you disclose vulnerabilities and insecurities, it nurtures intimacy and strengthens emotional ties. This process establishes a foundation of authenticity and acceptance, creating a space where both individuals feel secure to be themselves and support one another. Ultimately, sharing vulnerabilities with someone who can empathize with your experiences enriches emotional connection and deepens the romantic relationship. 4. Intimidation Attraction Many individuals frequently find themselves attracted to those they perceive as intimidating. This attraction often stems from qualities such as confidence, strength, or a sense of authority in others. These attributes can create an impression of being impressive or powerful, which can be highly appealing. However, feeling intimidated by such individuals can also add a sense of challenge or excitement to the attraction. It's akin to being drawn to someone who appears somewhat unattainable in some aspect. Personal experiences and self-perceptions may influence this attraction. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.